Hello, Moon Jelly Kevin here, and today we're going to be talking about Saint Young Men, a 2006 manga written by Hikaru Nakamura and was the winner of the Osamu Tezuka Cultural Prize. Now, uh, this is Hikaru Nakamura's, I believe, her second work. She doesn't actually have a lot of work under her belt. She's actually a relatively younger artist, and of course I'm only saying that because she's closer to my age. But either way, <laughs> she is a younger artist, and this is really the work that took off. Um, it has been adapted into an anime. There are 17 Tankoban volumes out. Um, this is the official Kodansha release that is put out for the United States. I don't know if they actually released it in a smaller format, but this is the format that I was able to get a hold of. And yes, what is this manga about? You guys probably can not already tell just by looking at it, just by looking at that illustration, that in the tradition of Sunday of this show that I'm starting, uh, maybe I will always do this. Maybe I'll go talk about some sort of goofy thing out there, some goofy media that has to deal with religion. Now, the dangerous thing here, though, is that when I talk about religion on the internet, I like I said in my last video, uh, this is not an attack on religion. I just find this stuff fascinating. I feel that you get two camps when uh, they see something like this. You either get the people who are staunch atheists who get super upset at anything that has to do with religion, or you deal with the staunch religious types that get upset that you're reading something that is goofy and wholesome and fun about religion and those are the keywords this is goofy wholesome and fun uh this manga got a lot of buzz back in the day i wanted to read this a long time ago in 2006 and uh i didn't i didn't read it um i know it was only available in scans at the time and it's only within the past couple of years that this has now been officially released in the united states i believe it was released uh, digitally first and now it's being released physically and I honestly didn't know what it was about other than the premise. The premise being that, well, let's get into that premise. Let's read the back of this. Here's the synopsis according to the back of, bo uh, back of the book. Saint Young Men, a slice of saintly life. Jesus, the Son of God. Buddha, the Enlightened One. Two of history's most important figures whose sagely deeds have been told and retold. After a few millennia of helping humanity, they have decided to take some time off and rent an apartment together in modern-day Tokyo. But even their saintly status hasn't fully prepared them to navigate the ups and downs of life in 21st century Japan, from theme parks to shopping for rice cookers to the wonderful world of manga. Follow this pair on a goofy, lighthearted, and pun-filled adventure in friendship. So yeah, this is just a buddy story between Jesus and Buddha. This is about them trying to live in an apartment together and all the shenanigans that happens from there. I, when I was personally told the pitch that it was about Jesus and Buddha living in the apartment, I thought this was going to be some sort of super serious, dramatic, like a Lifetime original Hallmark movie uh, type of story. But that is not the case. This is honestly just a gag manga that just happens to have Jesus and Buddha as the stars. If you are someone who absolutely cannot deal with the fact that Jesus says, Oh Jesus, when something bad happens, then stay far away from this text. But if you are someone who can read this objectively as a piece of entertainment that just happens to use uh, two of the world's most famous religious figures as far as the East with Buddha and the West with um, Jesus is concerned, then uh, please read ahead. <laughs> please watch ahead. So let's actually look into some pages of this manga. And again, I'm not going to go too far into detail. I don't want to spoil anything in case you choose to read this. But you can see over here, this is Jesus and Buddha on the cover. We have an opening wonderful color page over here. Buddha is um, standing on top of... Uh, Jesus and Buddha are on top of a flower. Looks like they're doing karaoke i don't know if that's supposed to be a lotus flower i don't even know if they're supposed to be singing maybe they're just standing telling comedy like a famous comedy duo because that's what this manga is like i said it's a comedy i was not prepared for this to be a comedy and what a comedy it is uh <laughs> so we have over here this is the very first chapter you have buddha's day uh, day off 
and uh, Buddha's day off, sorry. And, you know, he's being pestered by birds. Jesus comes home. They're having their nice, wonderful conversation over here. Jesus talks about how some high school girls thought he looks like Johnny Depp. <laughs> and again, I I can un- I completely understand if you're someone who could look at this and think it's sacrilege. Um, we have even over here that we have this recurring gag that you will see throughout the manga of people just trying to take out the stone or, or pulling the stone or just messing around with Buddha's stone between his forehead on his forehead. But uh, yeah, if you're someone who just absolutely just from those first few pages that I showed you uh, finds the super offensive, then um, simply don't pick this up. <laughs> it's that simple. But like I said, there's not really much I can say about this. Um, it has a very nice art style. Jesus and Buddha are drawn in an elegant fashion. Uh, I think they look rather, um, they do look rather holy. They're, they're drawn to be kind of slender. They, they have kind of an everyman quality about them, but I also think their faces are drawn in a way that, um, is a little bit like in a way, I don't know how to say it, but they're very pretty. You know, I think their faces are actually particularly, uh, uh, gives them a quality that makes them look a little otherworldly when compared to everyone else that's uh in the manga compared to like the everyday people that they run into and you can see over here (laughs) people are asking buddha to do some poses while they take some pictures and uh i i believe they went uh visiting somewhere sorry guys it's been a while since i've read this but just wanted to show you guys a couple of pages here just to give you an understanding it is written in manga style, so, you know, not a lot of heavy uses of panels. You don't get too many panels on one page. Um, you know, big dialogue boxes, but not really heavy dialogue. So everything kind of moves at a fast pace. And I think that's something that even um, though Hikaru Nakamura, this is one of her earlier works, she's really good at pacing. And of course, the pacing just gets better as she continues on making these um, chapters. So here we go. My favorite scene, at, as far as Volume 1 is concerned, they go into a bus station. They're on a train. And Jesus is getting harassed because of his crown of thorns. You have this guy saying, hey, that's dangerous. He calls it some sort of bold fashion statement. He thinks he's just some sort of like punk rock kid. And then on the other side, you have uh, Buddha, who is... Uh, He's having a hard time on his on this bus because he's getting harassed by some drunks. They think that his um, they think that the stone on his forehead is the button to stop the uh, train for the next stop. Uh, you have over here just people constantly messing with their face, and even Jesus was like, "I didn't know the commuter express was this dangerous." Because <laughs> you know, if if you know anything about the trains in Japan, they they get really packed, so. It's even to a point where to hold on to their, the, the they thought that they're holding on to straps, but they're these two random drunk people are holding on to Buddha's ears to, um, you know, stay on the train. <laughs> so, yeah, that should give you an idea if this is something you would be into or not into. Yeah, like I said, it is strictly a comedy and um, you can decide for yourself whether or not you want to check this out. Um, like I said, it's available digitally. Um, you could also get the physical deluxe hardcovers that have one to two volumes in it for roughly about $23.99 US. A little bit more for Canada, $31.99. And uh, that was it. That's a brief look at St. Young Men. Um, of course, you know, I would not be talking about it if I wasn't a fan of it. So if you want to check this out, I give it my recommendation. Check it out for yourself. If you have checked this out, feel free to write in the comments below what you guys thought of this one. Do you want to go check this out? And um, yeah, that's it. Same young men. Good stuff. And uh, as always, thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.